not too much light here but uh, like we're always saying we need to find the light that comes from within Baruch Hashem the Creator is uh, shining upon us and revealing His love in every time that uh, you sense that you have more faith that you understand something about holiness, purity, when you read from the Torah, or that you find it in your life, that you believe in Hashem, that you have a spiritual connection to the Creator, you should remember the holy verse that is said and described the faith of Avraham, our father, that he believed in Hashem. It's written, Vaya Amen. Ba'ashem, that Abraham believed in Hashem, ve'chashveha lo litzdaka, and it was considered for him as charity. Now, there are two explanations for that. One, maybe more. So one is that Hashem saw the Creator. He saw that Abraham believed in Him before Abraham was obligated to faith, because the Torah that obligates us to believe in God was not given yet in the days of Abraham, only in the days of his great-great-grandchildren. So Abraham was not obligated to believe in God, but he did it. And that's why God considered Abraham's faith as charity. It was kind of an act of grace of Abraham to believe in Hashem. Voluntarily, he believed. That's one. The other explanation for that verse to say that Abraham believed in Hashem and he considered that Abraham considered that faith as charity from Hashem that he was full of gratitude and he was grateful to Hashem for allowing him allowing Abraham to believe in him he depend his faith on Hashem's kindness to show his face to him, to Abraham. Like that King David said to Hashem, Ata tomich gorali, you supported my destiny. And one of the holy uh, commentaries on that verse is saying that King David meant to say, Ata tomich gorali, you supported my destiny to believe in you. That we can see that clearly that Hashem himself is showing his face to us and by that we see the grace and kindness of the Creator to allow us to see him when Moshe Rabbeinu the main father and holy role model for all prophets ever exist um, heard that Hashem said in that day I'm gonna hide my face from you in the holy Torah it's written Bayom Hahu Haster Astir Panai I will hide and I will hide. It's written twice Haster Astir I'm gonna hide and I'm gonna hide. So it's written on Moshe that he fell on his face. He fainted. He didn't know what to do with that thing that Hashem said. Why? Because Hashem said that He will hide His face from us, but He did not say just, I'm going to hide my face from you. He said it twice. Means the meaning of what Hashem said was, I'm going to hide the fact that I'm hiding from you. I'm going to hide my face from you, but I'm also going to hide that fact from you. When you know that someone is hiding, you still have the urge, the desire, to go and look for him. But if he's hiding the fact that he's hiding, <laughs> you're never going to look for him anymore. And that's why Moshe fell on his face and fainted. Because he realized the risk that Hashem might hide from us, from his children, that he is hiding. And then they just going to, in a most horrible, secular way, just not going to even think about looking for him and not seeking for God. And therefore, we need to be very grateful and thankful to have faith and to understand that Hashem is so kind that He is allowing us to hear about Him, to know about Him, to pray for Him, to Him, and to call Him, and to ask for His help 
in every moment, in every aspect that you have any kind of um, faith reflection in your actions or that you hear something that gives you strength or that you even more so having the Mary to teach other people and to share faith with them, you should know that in that moment the creator of the world chose you and gave you that amazing, is giving you that amazing opportunity to know him, to see him, to think about him. If he would have want, God forbid, to hide and block his face from us, we would never be able to track him. Think about all the poor, crazy people who thinks to themselves that they believe in God, but for them, God is a cruel leader, is someone that you need to kill for, for his closeness. It's someone that is like, you know, like a, a, a cruel person with bad attributes that imagine to himself that that is God. All his bad attributes, he reflects them to God. Think how poorly that faith is, how far it is from, from holiness, from purity. So think about how lucky you are that you believe in Hashem and you believe in the Creator, the Maker of the universe, and you believe in His mercy and in His kindness and His unconditional love, that He loves and loves and loves, and that we have faith that the Creator will shine upon us with His great light in the building of the third temple that will be built in the Temple Mount, in the holy city of Jerusalem, in the holy land of Israel, with all 70 nations standing together, united and bonded with bonds and ties of love, endless amounts of appreciation and honor and mutual respect. May that day come in our days right now with all our loved ones standing together, holding hands and hugged with love, with great appreciation to the Almighty. And may that kindness will be seen on us in this day. Amen. Can you hear that son? Bless you.